Thank you for joining us on this three minute Thursday. So today I'm gonna to show you, um, this is the fly spray that Colby takes out. And um, this year we've had lots of issues with flies that bother our cows. The main thing that we were having issues with this summer was horse flies. Um, and of course they will cover our cows and sting them. And it, it's really, it hurt. if it hurts us, it hurts them. So you know they're painful, it's painful for them. So this is our um, homemade fly spray that we use that we'll take out and spray on all of our cows. Um, and what I do, y'all know I'm not a measure. So um, what I do is usually fill my big bottle up about halfway um, with water and then the rest we put either um, apple cider vinegar or vinegar, either one. Um, in, in your spray bottle. And then I will take eucalyptus, rosemary, citronella, and I'm out of my lemongrass. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of lavender in there too. Um, I put more rosemary and more lemongrass. I, if I'm gonna, if, if I'm gonna just guess on what I do, as far as how many drops, just so you guys will know, because like I said, I don't really measure. Centronella and eucalyptus, I would say about five or 10 drops. It's not a whole lot in comparison to this big bottle, okay? And then my rosemary and my lemongrass and my lavender, I will do about 10 to 15 drops of each one of those. So a little bit more of those than the others. Um, but it does need to be shaken. We shake it up every time we take it out to use it. Now, one of the things that I would suggest you not to use if you have a lactating animal, and that's peppermint, because peppermint will decrease milk production. So peppermint is one of the things that you can use in your spray if you're not applying that to a goat or a cow or anything that's lactating um, that's nursing. So um, peppermint, you can use that in there. Um, like I said, just be careful on those lactating mamas with that. Um, you wanna shake it up to get the oils mixed in well. Once you do that, just coat your animal and you have a homemade fly spray that will really keep those flies and those horse flies more at bay. And um, I know our animals will appreciate that versus the chemicals and stuff that are out there that we don't put on them. So happy homesteading, y'all.